Absentee ballots have been all over the news this year, so let's take a trip with an absentee ballot to let you know about the journey it takes in an election year and how it is safe and secure. First, in order to get an absentee ballot, you have to request one by filling out an absentee ballot request form. Election officials only send ballots to registered voters who request them using official request forms. To make it safe and secure, the voter or their near relative must sign the request form. Required info for the form includes the voter's date of birth and driver's license number, or last four digits of their social security number. Once the request reaches election services, when it's time, they will send an official ballot. To maintain security, in 2020, voters must vote their ballot in the presence of one witness. The witness must sign the absentee return envelope, certifying that the voter marked their ballot and that the registered voter is submitting the ballot. Again, for security, only the voter or their near relative or legal guardian may return the ballot. Election Services keeps a log of who drops off the absentee ballot envelopes to ensure compliance with legal requirements. Once the ballot is accepted, that voter is marked in the system as having voted in that election. If that voter tries to vote in person, poll workers will know the person has already submitted an absentee ballot. Criminal penalties have also been increased for absentee voting fraud-related offenses. Other ways to make sure your absentee vote is safe and secure? Data on who has requested absentee ballots is now confidential until Election Day. This reduces the ability of third parties to attempt to tamper with ballots, as they will not know who has requested a ballot or when the ballots are sent out. Also, we have the public eye on us here in North Carolina. Many people are watching the absentee voting process this year, including candidates, political parties, county boards of election, political and data scientists, and the media. If there are any anomalies or questionable activities, they will be reported to election officials. Making sure your absentee ballot is counted and makes it to election services is a top priority for this year. The State Board Investigations Division has a dedicated team to review credible allegations of election fraud and refers cases to prosecutors when warranted by findings. Even the State Board conducts post-election audits which will catch inconsistencies which can then be investigated by the Board or the Investigations Division. All this to say that absentee ballots are a safe and secure way to vote. Visit buncombecounty.org slash vote for more information about absentee ballots.